In Mithraism, Persians believed Mithra to be a great mediator between God and man. He was born on December 25th by a virgin who died for humanity and was resurrected after being buried. He was called their savior. Mithra's festivals were the winter solstice and the vernal equinox, Christmas and Easter. Again, these modern-day Christian concepts were taken from past pagan religions. December 25th is not found in the original teaching of Jesus Christ, nor is it the date that Jesus Christ was born, as many Christian scholars acknowledge. December 25th fell around the time of the pagan celebration of the winter solstice, which fell in midwinter during the shortest day of the year, when the sun is born. December 25th was known as the birthday of the Roman sun god, Sol Invictus and the Persian sun god Mithra. Many of the gods worshipped in the past were sun gods, and nearly all were born on or around what is now Christmas Day. Christians borrowed the concept of Christmas Day from the ancient pagan festival of the sun. The actual birth date of Jesus Christ is unknown. Some indicate that Jesus' birthday is in early spring because of the biblical reference to his birth that referenced the shepherds watching their flocks by night, as stated in Luke chapter 2, verse 8. The shepherds would not have worked in the fields with their livestock during the long, cold winter, but no solid evidence of the actual date of Jesus Christ's birth exists, as it is not mentioned anywhere in the scriptures. The concept of the Christmas tree, its ornaments, and Santa Claus also come from pagan ideologies. The concept of Easter is derived from a pagan spring festival of the Anglo-Saxon goddess of light and spring, Jostra. Paganism also influenced the concept of Easter eggs. Christians moved the day of the Sabbath, which was on Saturday, Sabbath in Arabic connotates seventh, as it is the seventh day of the week, to the Roman Sunday, Dies Soli, the holy day of the sun god Apollo, who was wrongfully worshipped. Once the innovative concept of one god as three different persons was introduced to the pagan Romans and others, it became easy to grasp and adopt the idea, as they had similar elements despite their different names. The pagans were familiar with the concept of gods in a trinity, so they accepted Paul's teachings. <laughs>